there was a young boy who grew up in poverty and he did not want to be in poverty anymore. He said he would do anything to get out of this situation. And he discovered that he had a grandfather who he really did not know, but he was willing to go talk to so that he could understand how to have wealth because his grandfather was wealthy. He goes to his grandfather and says, teach me how to be wealthy, how to have treasure. His grandfather says, of course, come to me every day and I will teach you. So the next day the boy came to the grandfather's home. The grandfather invited him in. He walked him down a hallway into a room where there was a desk. And next to the desk, there was a chair. The grandfather says, sit here. So the boy watched as the grandfather sat at the desk and looked into a book with a furrowed brow and had books all around with paper next to it. And the grandfather was taking notes furiously. The boy was watching and watching. And as he was watching, his eyes grew heavy and he fell asleep. The boy woke up and said, what happened? The grandfather said, he fell asleep, come back tomorrow. So the boy came back the next day. He sat at the chair that was next to the desk and he said, grandfather, I won't go to sleep this time. I'm going to watch you. And so the grandfather began reading and studying and writing just like he did the other days. And the boy was growing tired. His eyes became heavy. He fell asleep again. He woke up and said, what happened? And the man said, you fell asleep, come back tomorrow. The boy, becoming frustrated and discouraged, thinking that he would not learn the treasure, how to not go back to the impoverished situation he was in, he says, I will not fall asleep. So he goes back to his grandfather the next day and tells him. The grandfather says, watch what I do. The grandfather then begins looking with a furrowed brow into the book and studying and grabbing other books and taking notes. And the boy says, grandfather, you're not teaching me anything. I'm just watching you. The boy becomes frustrated. He says, you need to give me something to do, grandfather. The grandfather says, okay, take this book and you will find treasure. He gives him a copy, copy of the book that he has in the center of the table. The boy takes it home and with all his might, he looks through the book hoping to find perhaps $100, looking between the pages, but finds nothing. He brings it back discouraged, disheartened. He says to the grandfather, I found nothing but pages and words. The grandfather says, take it back and look again. The boy, respecting the grandfather but still frustrated, takes the book back home and goes at it with greater strength and greater zeal. He looks at the pages, opens the pages, pulls the pages apart, hoping to find something, just looking through, but finds nothing. Discouraged, thinking he's going to live in poverty for the rest of his life, takes the book back and takes it to his grandfather the next day and slams the book down on the desk and says, Grandfather, I found nothing but pages and words. You were teaching me nothing. I quit. The grandfather says, I see you're discouraged. Let me show you something. He opens the book and points to a word and says, what is this word? The boy says, wisdom. The grandfather says, what does it mean? He says, well, it's the application of knowledge. The grandfather points to another word and says, what does this mean? The, the boy says, well, that's knowledge. And it means to have an understanding, to have information. The grandfather points to another word. It is understanding. And he says, what does this mean? And the boy says, well, that's when you know something. That's when you can explain something to someone. And the grandfather goes on and on, page after page, word after word, pointing at, pointing at words and asking the boy, what does this mean? Then at the end of it all, the grandfather says, what have you learned? What have you seen? The boy then recalls what he has learned and seen. He says, I saw wisdom, knowledge, understanding, patience, self-control, love, joy, peace, goodness, eternal life, a crown of victory, peace, patience. And the grandfather says, now what do you think of it? The boy says, well, there are many things that are in this book and they seem to be of great value. The grandfather says, aha, value. And things that you value, what do you do with them? The boy looks with a furrowed brow at his grandfather and says, well, you treasure them. The grandfather says, yes, you treasure them. Now what do you understand about them? this book called the Bible he says well God gives you many things that you can treasure and you can value and this is where the true treasure is the grandfather says you have answered correctly there is much value in wealth and true wealth and true value in the Bible dig through it and search through it as such